Hello, this is Xbox Ahoy, and this is the 12th episode of my Black Ops 2 Weapon Guide. This time, we're covering the S12. A new weapon to the series, this semi-automatic option is the weapon of choice for those seeking an overwhelming wave of firepower. The S12, or Sega 12, is a Russian 12-gauge combat shotgun. The design is a gas-operated, semi-automatic one and is patterned after the familiar AK-47 rifle design. There are some concessions made for the larger 12-gauge shells, such as a wider extraction port and a two-setting gas system that permits use of both high-power slugs and less-than-lethal beanbag rounds. Some semi-automatic shotgun designs are plagued with feed reliability issues, but the Kalashnikov philosophy of accepting looser tolerances within the design means the Sega shares the legendary reliability of the AK platform. In-game, the S12 is a high-damage weapon by most standards, but compared to the other weapons in its class, its one-shot ability pales somewhat. Like the M1216, it's fair to consider the S12 as a low-damage shotgun, although it is more than capable of a one-shot kill at a close range. Its range is very limited, however, more so than the Remington 870, with the S12's damage quickly yielding unreliable one-shot kills. The S12's key strength is in its rate of fire. Although semi-automatic, it can dole out up to 468 rounds per minute, altogether an impressive amount of buckshot. Multiple pellets per shot mean you can liberally pepper a close-range target and quickly secure a kill, and the shot spread means multiple close-range enemies are easily tackled too. It is this rate of fire that means the S12 is more consistent in its performance than the pump-action shotguns. Despite the lower range and damage, faster follow-up shots will prevent you from being left vulnerable. Handling is generally okay, recoil is high, but seldom an issue due to the shot spread. Precision simply is not important with this shotgun. Aiming yields a tighter shot pattern, useful for enemies at the edge of your effective range, and aim time is relatively quick at 250 milliseconds. Movement speed is 100% of the maximum base speed, as with all of the shotguns. The S12 is magazine-fed, meaning all rounds are resupplied in a single action, as opposed to the per-shell reload of the pump-action weapons. Each mag holds 10 rounds, which is more than enough for most engagements, but will mean you'll need to pause to top up more often than with the slower firing options. Reload duration is 3.04 seconds. Not critically slow, but with a close range weapon, it is enough to leave you vulnerable. Fast mags or an able secondary weapon would be a good choice to ensure you're not caught out in the resupply. Our build with the S12 will help to fill in the gaps in the shotgun's ability. A class designed for mobility, to get behind enemy lines and clear entrenched positions. Our first choice is the primary gunfighter wildcard three attachments necessary to make the S12 as effective as possible. First up, the long barrel. This will enhance your shotgun's reach by a small amount, but will certainly earn the points worth in gunfights that occur on the fringe of your ability. With a weapon so limited in range, anything we can do to enhance your grasp will pay dividends. Next, the laser sight. This will tighten up your hipfire, condensing your buckshot spread, and delivering more consistent kills with fewer shots. For a reactive weapon such as the Sega, hipfire will be your mainstay offensive tactic, and so any improvement here will net a worthwhile increase in per-shell lethality. Finally, as the S12 is a magazine-fed weapon with a slightly slower reload, fast mags will help reduce the time during which you'll be left vulnerable. For habitual reloaders, it's a necessity. If you have more restraint, then extended clip can be another worthy option, granting four extra shots for bonus ammo and a better chance when facing multiple opponents. Our perk selection is a fairly basic set of three, geared towards high mobility. The closer you are able to get to your opponent, and the more quickly you can cover open ground, the better you will be able to perform with the shotguns. First up, Lightweight grants a 7% movement speed bonus. This means you can get 7% closer to your opponent and deal more damage accordingly. Given the very short range of the S12, this can be crucial in terms of winning gunfights. Next up, Fast Hands. This perk permits more liberal use of your secondary weapon 
and of your grenades and tactical equipment. Finally, extreme conditioning will give you the stamina you need to flank your opponent and minimize the time you'll spend exposed. Ideally, you'll sprint from cover to cover to avoid longer sightlines, and double the sprint endurance means you'll be able to keep up offensive pressure without pausing for breath too often. A flashbang in your tactical slot will prove useful when breaching rooms, or as a delaying tactic when facing enemies in the open. Flash grenades don't hamper mobility like the concussion grenades, but they do completely obscure vision, and the effects will last longer. In general, flash grenades are more useful against already stationary enemies in interior locations, and concussion grenades prove superior against mobile enemies. Both are a very strong choice with the shotguns. Finally, the S-12 is in dire need of a long-range companion. You can scavenge a fallen enemy's primary weapon and save a point for a second tactical. But equipping a secondary means you'll have at least some long-range ability upon spawn. A pistol is a fine choice, but the crossbow is an unconventional secondary worth considering. It's explosive bolts delivering one-hit kills upon successful sticks, which can prove particularly effective against stationary snipers. The explosive blast radius can also be employed to good effect with regard to map features. Cars and barrels can be detonated remotely, giving your enemy pause for thought and securing vital time in which to close the gap. That's our build, one designed around the mobility the shotguns require, geared to getting you into position to unleash the unrelenting fury of the S-12. Your greatest success will come from flanking your enemy and attacking from an unexpected angle. The Sega's ideal prey is a room full of unaware snipers. With extreme conditioning, you'll have the stamina needed to take the long way around, slip unseen through the lesser-traveled side of the map, and get into a good position to strike. Tactical insertion is another possible consideration for this build. Choosing your own spawn point is a powerful option in objective games with fixed spawns, saving you the trouble of traversing well-defended open ground. Mobility should always be your prime concern, as getting close with the S-12 will be essential to your success. The S-12 is a potent close-quarters weapon, wanting for reach but devastating in tight spaces. Few weapons can consistently tackle multiple enemies at once, but the Sega's shot spread and fire rate make this weapon a camper's worst nightmare. The semi-automatic fire means you won't be left vulnerable between shots, and unless your magazine runs dry, you'll always have the answer to an enemy's feeble protest. Unfortunately, you pay for this output with a limited effective range, and unless you get very close to your opponent, it will be difficult to directly compete. Clever use of cover, flanking routes, and the element of surprise are all essential, as you won't fare well if you're caught in the open. Still, few weapons can consistently tackle and clear multiple enemies from entrenched positions. In such circumstances, there's nothing better than the S-12. With supersonic performance, this shotgun will be the genesis of your victory. When it comes to overwhelming close-range performance, to be this good takes Sega. Thanks for watching, this has been Xbox Ahoy. Join me next week when I'll be covering the first DLC weapon ever seen in Call of Duty, the Peacekeeper SMG. Until then, farewell.